This is Balkan Mollema of Trek Factory Racing's Trek and Munda team issue. Let's start at the top where he's using a Bontrager Serrano RL saddle. Looks a pretty standard, comfortable shape. Stem is provided by Bontrager and that's racing red to match the rest of the frame. Looks really, really sharp. His bars are aluminium and they're Bontrager's RL anatomic version. So a standard bar and it shows that many in the Pro Peloton still prefer to use alloy bars over carbon bars. Mollema and the rest of the Trek team used Shimano's Dura-Ace Di2 throughout. Interestingly, the Amonda was one of the first frames to allow teams to take advantage of the dual mount brakes, so braking on this feels super solid. Gearing-wise, Mollema's going for the standard 3953 up front and an 11 through to 28 cassette at the back. Nothing too out of the ordinary there. And his cranks are 175, so again, pretty standard stuff. What I really like about this bike is that in the past we've seen Mollema going without hoods due to a rubber allergy, but we've spoken to the mechanics at Trek and apparently the whole team is using anti-allergic rubber hoods. I think that's really, really cool and shows the lengths that some teams go to accommodate their star riders. Mollema and the rest of the Trek team roll on the full range of Bontrager wheels. Bontrager are, of course, a sister company of Trek. Today he's chosen the Bontrager Aeolus 5s, which are Pretty aero, really nice rounded shape and quite a wide rim bed. So they suit the new brand of wider tyres and he's using Veloflex tubs with skin wall. I think skin wall looks really good. Now the Trek Amanda is actually the lightest production bike in the world, or it was when it was released in July 2014. And this is shown by the fact that Mollema's mechanics have had to weigh this bike down. Just in the bottom bracket there, the cap for the bottom bracket is different to standard and they've clearly put some sort of weights there to make sure that it meets the UCI's minimum weight limit of 6.8 kilos. Vital statistics, Mollema's reach isn't too long at 58 centimetres and he achieves that using a 13 centimetre stem and saddle height is around 78 centimetres. Looking at the weight of the bike, it's a shade over 7 kilos so his mechanics have clearly got it spot on. He's going to have no trouble with the UCI's lower weight limit there which is amazing because it's such a light frame. If you'd like to see our top 10 ways for you to upgrade your bike, click right there. To see all of our pro bikes, click down there. And finally, to subscribe to GCN and get a great cycling video to your YouTube subscription inbox every day, click on me. Ready? Ready, ready, ready. More, more outtake gold.